All right, so this is a kind of a quick video I'm throwing together because the latest Dragon OS Focal R18, I uploaded it. I've went through, I've checked as about as many things as I possibly could. So I'll try and highlight a few things uh, real quick. Uh, first thing, uh, someone had mentioned something where I didn't really show the M17 on the Pine phone, how I did it or whatever. So let's just go through it together here. I actually forgot to put this flow graph in Dragon OS. But uh, so what we're going to do is, we're going to use an RTL SDR and a Hack RF with the latest Dragon OS Focal because the SDR++ I recompiled it with M17 support. So let's see if we can do this real quick here. We'll do a git clone. We'll pull down this M17 GNU radio. We'll change into M17 and let's do a GNU radio companion. Oh, first things first, uh, I always try and point this out, Hack RF info uh, you need the 2021 plus you know firmware with dragon os I, I always try and point that out because some people may have problems with the uh hacker app and wonder why it's not working uh, you need that uh, firmware to match the lib uh, hacker app that's in dragon os so let's pull up this for fsk.grc should open up here in just a second uh let's see we need to we'll make a quick change here. Let's change from a Pluto SDR sync to an Osmocom sync. Throw that out here. Connect it up. We'll look at let's see, we got sample rate. Sample rate one, two. We'll go with the same frequency in the Osmocom block. Also, we want to do in device arguments, we'll do hack RF equals zero. And you may find that you have to hit apply and OK several times for the changes to take effect. I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't actually do anything. Sample rate, how they had it spelled out. And we'll try and put the frequency in. Let's make sure that took uh, takes sample rate. Yeah, see, it didn't take the frequency. Let's try again. Okay, what else? Uh, sample rate. Try that. Actually, what was that bandwidth? This may or may not work here. Let's see. Okay, uh, we'll take the gain up some too. Alright, so we should be, and we'll also change to the report 2286 bin file. Hit apply, OK. Make sure that takes. OK, let's see. We should be set up there. What we'll do is we'll come down here under ham radio and open the latest SDR. And I know I'm going kind of quick through here, but. We'll get it here. Let's change to the RTL SDR. We also want to come down and we're going to add the M17 decoder. Let's see, we'll just call it M17. Let's see, M17. Okay. M17. Let's see, audio. I'm trying to do so, uh, this from memory real quick here on the fly. And we want 144.91. 1. So we've got our RTL SDR on. Raise the gain up. Now I'm going to try this once. We'll see how it works out. We'll hit execute flow graph after we turn off the Pluto SDR sync. See, so we need to get the 
M17 over here. Let me see. Remember, <laughs> Okay, so I turned the uh, radio audio off just so I could tune the M17 line you see here. Should scroll down. You can see we're getting information here. The source, the broadcast, voice, encryption, can. So that's about... Let's see, that's about the easiest way I think you can uh, test out the M17 on there. If you've got a HackRF and RTL SDR, use the combination of the two like I just showed here. Set up your flow graph, which I forgot to add this, but that's a pretty easy add. And there you go, there's M17. I'm going to shut that down. Uh, we can take a look at some of the other new things in the latest Dragon OS. If you look under Other, uh, matter of fact, the GSM survey. I went ahead and fixed that. Uh, let's see, we got the. I'm not going to do uh, show real. Um, uh, this is running for real. Um, so if we do hack RF, let's see, should be like that. We'll see it does function now. I'll just go as far as showing that. So the survey starts, it'll start doing the survey, does it all on its own, you'll get results here as long as you put in the gain and then the device type which you know you could put RTL, um, HackRF, uh, BladeRF, uh, really anything that runs with the Osmocom. Setting up the Pluto is a little different. Uh, I think if you've got it plugged in USB you could probably could put, um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down but it does it does work now. So that's if you want to use the graphical user interface. Shut down. You've also got the um, sat dump, which I'm pretty excited about, uh, that's in here. There's a command line, a lot of command line tools. Also, the graphical user interface will come up and work. Just make sure if you're running it that uh, you, if you're running uh, Dragon OS live, you want to take a look uh, in the user source directory and you want to run the RSP installer if you're running live because that's not taken care of. Of, uh, for you automatically. If you install Dragon OS upon the first login, it prompts you if you want to install that or not. Uh, you at least uh, for sat dump for whatever reason because well when I built it it relies upon the the uh, SDR Play API being there. Uh, I, I remove it so that when I distribute it that's on everyone to install if they'd like. What you could do is install it and then just disable the uh, API and I think uh, sat dump the user interface will still start. But if you don't have it installed I've noticed that the sat dump USI, uh, UI will uh, not, not stop. Oh you need to be like in your home uh, directory too because it writes log files there's the graphical user interface for sat dump and it does work with the RSP1 Alpha, RTL SDR and I believe a couple other uh, if you want to do live processing. 
you can find more information about that on the uh, really Twitter is a lot of uh, really awesome looking pictures for sat dump and the github page itself let's see what else uh, the actually I'll open this back up the latest user source SDR for space the latest app image is on here take a look at its options you'll notice that it does have the capability to uh, use a GPS information so when you're running these examples and stuff you can look at integrating GPS in when you're trying to um, plot out and log um, frequency information and let me think what else there, there's actually a lot of I don't know that I necessarily have time to cover it all. If you look at uh, Dragon OS Focal, you go to SourceForge, you're going to find the files there and a README. I tried to put um, links on it this time to the different GitHub pages. I'm giving people a lot of free advertisement time here. Let's see. We've got uh, SDR Angel, Sig Digger, SDR++. Uh, oh, yeah, the latest SRS RAN is in here, and I did uh, test that. Uh, tested a couple times, actually. I uh, did get a successful attach from a Blade RF uh, being the ENB uh, to a B2, or well, to the, the B205 being the UE. Uh, I had to update lib ACARs because I put the dump HFDL in here. It needed that. I've seen this, this work. Uh, using the examples here it can use an RSP1 alpha and uh, you can see there's a lot of options the github page on that is very uh, extensive on the write-up GRNFC is in there probe request um, some individuals uh, were asking about um, sat tools uh, it was a quite a big um, github to pull in and so I couldn't really necessarily include it this time but STRF is included and any of the dependencies for SAT tools was included. So if you go to the SAT, up, SAT tools page, you can quickly um, pull that in and build that. Uh, WF view, I remembered somebody asked about that. I believe that controls uh, as for like a rig control. I don't have anything to interact with it, but I did build it and from source and get it, got it running in here. So if anyone could please use that and check it out and see how that works, let me know. Uh, Sig Digger, I fixed the shortcuts, so it's e an easy upgrade. If you ever want to upgrade, just know it's in the user source. If you do a sudo bsld, that will upgrade uh, and put everything back in place. But just keep in mind, if you upgrade there, and if you're using the Dragon SDR firmware, the headless, uh, the SUS CLI versions need to match, otherwise you'll get a mismatch and you won't be able to uh, use that remote SDR that I'm, I'm working on. The GR LoRa SDR is in there. Uh, I've not got a chance to check it, but someone had asked about putting that in there, and it just so happened to be available for GNU Radio 3.8. So that's in there. And then another uh, pretty unique thing that somebody asked about at the last minute, they, they themselves make it made it, is a... Uh, and I'm not uh, actually used it, but uh, it's in here. It uh, let's see if we can pull up the README real quick. It's got a REST API and a lot of options here to use SOAPY uh, in order to see right here it captures and records an SDR stream to a WAV file. I think it's pretty interesting. I want to give this a try when I can here. All the dependencies should be there. All the SOAPY drivers, everything is there, and so. Uh, I'll have to give that uh, a try in a in a later video, but uh, really, this is just a lot of a lot of free treats here for um, I guess uh, Halloween, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll cover more in the future. This was just a quick thing. Uh, at least I did cover a little more in depth the M17, which uh, is a really exciting um, new thing, I believe. So, all right, thanks. Bye.